How you guys doing? This is very important in reference to history and facts of these people. These people have literally went around and tried to call me a mentally challenged person. You know, I went to universities. I was a straight A student. And check to see in history if I was ever valid Victorian at any of the schools I went to. This government man has went around and tried to make up crazy accusations about me. They made up lies about satellite technology when my father was the first man that got murdered from satellite in America. And it's on record, too. That has to be publicly uh, in the newspapers, too. It even tells you on Treasury documents that if anybody calls me a liar or tries to call me crazy about satellite technology, that would mean that the government has set up somebody to slander my character. The satellite man has damaged my teeth. They tried to make up accusations, trying to make up tooth decay with their satellite murder attempts, their satellite mutilations, their satellite burning of the teeth. The only thing that puts black marks on people's teeth is either lasers or electricity. And everybody knows that, right? When they burn black marks on a person's teeth, that's from satellite or that's from somebody tasering a person's mouth or lasering a person's mouth with a, obviously something that's like fourth degree burns because it burns and melts real bones and teeth. Now, you know, that is a, that's a hate crime. And that is a sexual crime, and that is fatal attraction crimes. But, you know, this government man has went around and tried to call me mental. Now, I don't take kindly to that. And these people that are doing this shit, there's been restraining orders on them. These people have tried to call me somebody else's child, even though my DNA has been on record my whole life. The man that had kidnapped me, named Frank, and his CIA and FBI faggots that have tried to murder me, and his family members that have conspired against me, every fucking one of them must get arrested for their crimes. I have nothing to do with his dirty, psycho, fucking dumbass. He extorted ransom from my mother back in the 80s, and it is a demand that it be put on television and on court TV, the phone calls when he had called my mother and demanded millions of dollars. And my mother paid him the millions of dollars in ransom. But he still held me hostage. There were several places that they held me hostage at. They held me hostage in Richmond, Indiana. They held me hostage in Union City, Indiana. They held me hostage on Gladstone Street. They held me hostage on, Gla uh, on Colorado Street in Indianapolis. They held me hostage on Midhoffer Street. These are several different times where they had kidnapped me time after time. Like I got rescued each and every time in between each house. And my mother, Doris Duke, had purchased most of those properties out from under them where they were holding me hostage. Look at that record. That record needs to be publicized in the newspapers too and in the media and on court television. These people have been burning me with satellites and damaging my face and teeth, and they've been slandering my intellect, trying to call me stupid. And this government man has been burning my face, trying to make up accusations of Down syndrome. This motherfucker had accused me of Down syndrome because this man tried to claim he thought I was his child, but I am not this man's child. My eyes look like my mother and father's eyes. My teeth look like my real biological parents' teeth. My eyes, my face, my anatomy, everything is direct DNA facts of evidence of who my biological parents are. No, I don't have no Down syndrome. No, I'm not mentally challenged in any fucking way. But since you people said that shit, you have to get put on trial for attempts of murder. I'm not playing your racist game. And every one of these motherfuckers that have said this, they are Germans. Or they are German mixes of people. Now, you know, my father got murdered by Germans. Germans had stolen from my father. My father had court cases against the American government at the time of his death. When he got murdered by the government and the government had to admit 100% responsibility and fault 
and deliberate fault that they were responsible for the murder of my father. And they were responsible for the murder of my mother. My mother, Doris Duke, had restraining orders on Frank Sinatra. My mother had restraining orders on all his goddamn dirty fucking people. All his dirty CIA and FBI faggots. And all his goddamn family members. But then, when my mother had gotten murdered, Frank was possibly one of the men that had been arrested outside my mother's mansion in Beverly Hills. Is that true or not true? And there's possibly two other fucking people that got arrested that night outside my mother's mansion in Beverly Hills. Answer the question. It needs to be on court television. There is history of this fucking dirty German motherfucker and his Middle Eastern Germans that have went around slandering my fucking character. I am not playing their games. I have nothing to do with them. I do not owe them nothing. These people have been holding me hostage. And there was somebody that even communicated something before saying that these motherfuckers had kidnapped me from California because they had ran out of money. These people have sexually assaulted me. I want them charged. There are Germans that had stolen sperm, medical criminals that stole my sperm, and they artificially inseminated possibly some of their German females. Every goddamn German female that stole sperm and was artificially inseminated must get arrested. Every medical person that artificially inseminated any German or stole any of my sperm must get put on trial for attempts of murder. I'm not playing nobody's tricks. I don't know if Frank is the one still doing this, but I have nothing to do with him, nothing to do with anybody's bullshit. I'm the only child of my mother and father, not getting involved in anybody's fucking problems. I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. I'm not playing nobody's games. I'm not associated with these psychos. And these people, every person that has damaged my teeth, must get arrested. I'm, there's no way to forgive anybody for that shit. Or any of the other shit they've done. I'm not playing nobody's games. If a court judge can't seem to be man enough or to man up to handle the fucking court cases, then you need to step the fuck down because you have wasted over 22 years of my life allowing these CIA and FBI freaks to be tampering with my life. I have nothing to do with them. My parents did not owe them a goddamn fucking red cent. I don't owe them nothing. They have held me hostage, cost me jobs, and have cost me millions of fucking dollars. They have tampered with my face. They've damaged my teeth. And then they claimed they didn't know what that was. And this man tried to make up shit. I've had a brain scan, you stupid fuck. My brain is beautiful. Some people know I'm one of the smartest people in the world. Now let's see you get a brain scan, you fucking dirty faggot. You goddamn child molesters. Yeah, these people are child molesters and they're political thieves. They were arrested back in the 80s by my mother, Doris Duke, some of these people was. All the men in government that are denying my biological parents' identity, they have no credibility. My identity has been documented 24 hours a day since I was born. The Treasury has documents of it. The Supreme Court has documents of it. But obviously somebody is trying to play confusion games. And I don't play confusion games. So anybody tampering with my life or harassing me or abusing me must get charged for their fucking crime. Anybody bullying, bullying me. They hit me in the mouth just now. Anybody bullying me. Anybody stealing my fucking money. Anybody injuring me or cock-blocking me from having relationships with females, those people must get charged. Anybody calling me a fucking retard. See, this is one of those things. I have proven to be an intellectual. I have taken a lot of tests through schools and history. And somebody knows that. But these government motherfuckers are trying to make up accusations, trying to call me somebody else, when my time is all accounted for. On the Beverly Hills school system says low, low Beverly Hills Elementary, Junior High, and High School, and school in Colorado, and school Jewish school in New York, 
And in reverence to these government people in other schools, I don't. In reverence to these government people holding me hostage, making up slanderous things because they're in possession of stolen monies that they stole that I was supposed to have received. These fucking Germans. I'm not German. My parents are not German. I'm not Middle Eastern either. But these people are holding on to monies and slandering my character every fucking day. And these people need to get prosecuted for their hate crimes, their financial crimes, and the fact that they have violated restraining orders when they fucking kidnapped me from California. I want to know why the California courts have not prosecuted these people. They have physically grabbed me, physically damaged my teeth, and made my teeth look stupid. I didn't do this to my teeth. All the food I eat and all the beverages I drink are documented every day. When I drink milk, when I drink orange juice, when I drink soft drinks, diet soft drinks, it's documented. When I eat chicken or beef or french fries or potatoes, it's all documented or vegetables, or ketchup, and sauces. It's documented. And the government man that has been holding me hostage has fucking fabricated trying to call me his child when the royal protocol is on television 24 fucking hours a day and it says to arrest people that try to call me their child. In reference to my biological parents. You know, I performed in movies and TV shows growing up. And some people, there's even a list of celebrities that was supposed to get in contact with me. Or there was a list that I was supposed to have had, which I don't have the list. Where celebrities had put their contact information on there for me to contact them. And they kept saying that the FBI was stealing, the Federal Bureau was stealing the letters that had the call list on it in reference to people in Hollywood that I was supposed to be able to call. Because I don't have anybody's phone number, if anybody was wondering. So, you know, in reference to these people doing this shit, they must get prosecuted. Anybody stealing my revenues from Pornhub, the Chase Happy Pornhub website, those people must get arrested. Anybody stealing any of my revenues or residuals from anywhere, must get arrested. Anybody stealing from my trust funds or blocking me from any of my money from my mother or father or friends that tried to send me money or lawsuits or court cases of any kind or insurance money, every person must get arrested and prosecuted. I'm not going to play nobody's games. This man has been stalking me and his people have been stalking me. I have nothing to do with them. I don't want nothing to do with them, and I never invited them ever into my life. Not never. I never invited them in. Do you understand? I've never been friends with these people. Not allowed to be friends with these people. And there's restraining orders against these people and their conspirators. See, they try to channel two different people to hide that they were the ones doing it. Like, for instance, dirty government mail would hire somebody to do something. And then they hire somebody else. They'd hire somebody else or this person or that person or this person or that person to make up shit on me. When I don't hang out with any of those people. I don't associate with none of those people. And there's restraining orders on their leaders and the people that fucking hired them. And I don't have nothing to do with them. So in reference to any person trying to call me incompetent, we need you to explain what you call incompetence. You better explain it because you can end up in prison for the rest of your fucking life. You better explain it. And in reference to the due process of the courts, there's a limited time of which things have to be handled. If things are not handled appropriately in this short period of time, things have to be fast-tracked. Things have to be handled quickly. 
This has been going on for over 26 fucking years, man. And even back in the 80s. This has been going on a very long fucking time. I have yet to receive any fucking compensation. These people are trying to steal trust funds. These people these people try to make up shit. These people was able to steal sperm. By injuring me and trying to hurt me and shit like that. But nobody was able to deliver monies. The attorneys have not delivered any monies. The Supreme Court, the Treasury, nobody has delivered any monies. I don't know if anybody tried to put money on my uh, employee card or in checking accounts of mine. It's not there if it was, if anybody tried to. I don't know if anybody tried to wire any money because it never showed up if you did. I don't know if anybody put money in the mailbox. Now, this is one of, because it's not ever been there. So, in reference to the facts of race and religion, in reference to the bad people, the criminals that are doing this, their ethnicity and whoever their leader is, is very important that everybody know who these criminals are. These people are organized criminals. I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. I've never had any activities of their accusations. All their accusations of them trying to accuse me of being a criminal, accusing me of being a drug user, accusing me of being somebody in their drug rehabilitation program. I have never done drugs in my entire fucking life. I've never been a thief either. I don't steal. So this motherfucker that has accused me of being in his drug rehabilitation program must get arrested. And they must interrogate the man and ask the man who he fucking thinks he is confusing my identity. I'm not gay, not never. And they need to find out if this drug enforcement man that claimed that he thought I was in his drug rehabilitation program, they have to check to see if the man is a faggot or if the man is a homosexual. I'm not gay, not never. And you have to check to see if this man has tampered with any of my girlfriends or female relations that I've ever had with females that I'm friendly with. And you have to figure out, or people need to know, what branch of government these people came from these people have stolen sperm. They've tried to steal my identity. They've damaged my teeth. We need the man to explain why you damaged my fucking teeth. I'm not from the Ray family. And the Royal Protocol told you on record, and you, know, you were told to quit playing your fucking Greenfield country bumpkin fucking shit. Do you understand that, government man? Your fucking games of fucking up my teeth, burning my face, damaging my face because you didn't like something about my natural qualities. My teeth are real, you fucking sick motherfucker. They were real in those pictures, too. They've been real my whole life. Every single second of every single day of my whole life, my teeth have been real. And you didn't like that because they didn't look like yours? They're not supposed to look like yours. Mine are real. Yours are fake, government man. And you must get prosecuted for damaging my teeth and face. And you must get charged because you have a brain problem. Because you thought I was your child, government man. Even when my mother had court cases here in Indianapolis back in the fucking 80s. And some of your people was mentioned in those court cases as the conspirators and the fucking liars. And my mother even sent a truancy officer over to one of the locations where they were holding me hostage. And they asked him, why isn't that child in school? This is a long time ago. Some of you got arrested, didn't you? Some people got arrested. Some people had to go to court. And they got sued for kidnapping me and holding me hostage. Didn't they? Or some of them went to prison. Some of them went to jail. Some of them still need to go to jail, don't they? These terrorists and the act of their confusion 
So you think somebody's incompetent, government man? Incompetent about what? You try to steal my food recipes? You try to steal my videos? Incompetent about what? Most jobs I've worked on, people say I work pretty good. But that's not really what I'm supposed to be doing, is it? I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. I'm supposed to be living off trust funds and revenues of my mother and father's companies. That your people are jealous of the fact of who I am and who my parents are. You're jealous of that raw protocol in the media, aren't you, government man? This should have never gotten to this point where you people have been getting away, dragging your feet in the courts. Or, you know, in reference to the point, these people should not have gotten away with this shit for so goddamn long. And the courts seem as if they're dragging their feet on this subject when it is a high priority fact. And it even says on Treasury documents, the courts are obligated to handle this situation immediately against these people. I have yet to receive any emergency money or traveling money. I have yet to receive any insurance money from any of the jobs I've worked at where I was getting tortured on the job or injured on the job by these government satellite controllers. I have not received any compensation of any kind. Your government people need to get prosecuted for your cover-ups too. And this man was trying to use some German man's dentistry as his way of damaging my teeth. My DNA is on record, man. I'm not a goddamn German. Never been a German either. Not ever gonna be a German. But your government men are playing your fucking tricks. And my parents got murdered by Germans. And you have to get charged for uh, violating my Jewish heritage and Catholic heritage, government man. I'm not German. Not ever going to be German. Not never. And you must get arrested for your crimes and your abuses. And you think it's funny too, don't you? And you try to call me stupid. Obviously, there are people among your clergy that think they're funny. And you can get charged for hatred humor. It is factually known that you have slandered my character intentionally and you've went to jobs with your racism where I had been working. And you've slandered my character and you've illegally had agents that had been conspiring with you around locations where I had been working. And the California court system or the California government must get prosecuted because they allowed these people to kidnap me. The restraining order documents are in California too, aren't they? There's lifetime restraining orders against these people. And there's lifetime restraining orders against people stealing gifts and monies and checks and that I was supposed to have received or people squatting on monies. My parents claimed me. I lived with my biological parents. I was raised by my biological parents. There's even education history. He just hit me in the teeth right there. You think that's smart, government man? It's smart for you, huh? Because you've done the damage and then you're the one making up the accusations. But it's not smart in reference to your actions of what you have done because you have violated my legal rights not to be harassed or abused or mutilated by your political administration. You're violating my rights. You're trying to steal what I'm the owner of. And the Treasury does have documents that say they are supposed to force it to go public in the media who I am and who my biological parents are and what I'm the owner of. If there was ever somebody denying any of that or anybody blocking me from my monies. 
there's court records that say if anybody tried to damage me physically or damaged my face or teeth or tried to slander my character or tried to call me stupid, those people can get prosecuted. There's a point of people making up jokes. This is not about comedy. Or somebody like, oh, you're so stupid. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> this isn't that kind of situation. This is literal violence from satellites. These people damaged my teeth. These people are violating the property laws and the environment laws with their satellites. These people are violating my rights and my relationships with females. We need the names of every government man that had violated my relationships with celebrity females. Now, there might be some celebrity females that wanted to change or wanted to change in their life and they wanted to date somebody else or whatever. That's, you know, we just need that on record too. Because, see, we need to know which, what, what happened. Which girls wanted out of relationships with me and which girls wanted to stay in relationships with me. We need that information on record publicly. Now, some people might wonder if, if I have more than one girlfriend. See, this situation has been a very tricky hostage situation. So in reference to like I was dating one girl and got kidnapped from that girl. Then satellite man was either blocking that girl from getting in contact with me or they were they were intercepting phone calls or they were intercepting uh, letters that girls would try to send to me or a girl would try to send to me. So then I wouldn't know, you know, in reference to or they were blocking a girl from getting in contact with me or, you know, they were holding me hostage or when they kidnapped me from uh, a relationship that I was in, then time would pass and. You know, the girl might have been trying to call, but I never heard. So then I had, you know, ended up getting another girlfriend. And then they did the same shit then. Then I had to get another girlfriend. Then they did the same shit then. Then I got to get another girlfriend. Then they did the same shit. Some of them might have been conspiring with Frank. Some of them might have been conspiring with the executives at the studios. Some of them might have been conspiring with the government to slander my character. And I have royal diplomatic immunity. None of this shit should be going on. My status is not based on which people are in government. I am the factual landowner and estate owner of my parents. I own everything of my mother and father's estates and grandparents forever. So in reference to these government men and their tricks and their slander and their physical assault that they have done to my face and teeth, and other parts of my anatomy, the court has to be prosecuted for not arresting them and apprehending them. They could have even hired military people to arrest these government people. It even says that on treasury documents. The treasury was supposed to organize a way of arresting these people. They were supposed to organize a way of delivering monies to my mailbox. There are procedures that they are not doing. We need an answer why, whoever these people are. We need an answer why this man is trying to call me stupid, trying to call me incompetent. Why are you trying to call me incompetent? Incompetent about what? I was a straight A student, dumbass. You claim to be smarter than me? Let's see what your IQ is. I'm one of the number one video game players in the world. Don't forget, when I was a little boy, I played chess. And I was one of the top chess players in the world when I was a little boy. Look up that information, too. I played music, guitar, drums, sang songs, performed as many different uh, characters in movies and television, too. You call me a liar? You call me a liar, government man? We need that record put on the internet, on a website, and in newspapers. Need all the information. You tried to call me stupid, didn't you, government? Think you're funny, don't you? 
We want to know who the fuck you are. This motherfucker tried to make up shit saying, oh, he thought you were an endangerment to society. I don't hang out in society. I've never been an endangerment to nobody. I've never picked a fight with nobody. Your people have always picked fights with me. You instigated your intrusiveness with your crimes and your slander. Name one fucking fight that I ever picked. And all your accusations of your government agents slandering my character and you made up lies to try to murder me. And you tried to call me a retard and you damaged my teeth because you wanted to make up drugs and shit. I don't do drugs, government man. And you need to get prosecuted for your fucking crimes. And then this when Frank had kidnapped me before, back in the 80s, my mother asked him why he kidnapped me. And he said, he didn't want you to be a Hollywood wild child or some shit like that. I was in a Hollywood wild child before. I wasn't a Hollywood child or Hollywood wild child at the present time. And I've never been a Hollywood wild child in the future back then either. So in reference to the whole point of anybody kidnapping me or holding me hostage or stealing from me, we need their information. I've never been a criminal, never been involved in criminal activity, never been involved in drugs, not going to be either. So all these people that slandered my character, they must get prosecuted and they must get arrested. If the court judges can't do the fucking job, they need to step down. Immediately. If law enforcement can't do the job to arrest these people, they need to step the fuck down. It tells you on treasury documents how much money I'm supposed to have access to on a daily basis. Like a per diem that my mother and father had set at a minimum. That if I didn't have that minimum amount of money from my mother and father's companies and my mother and father's estates every single day. Or access to that amount of money every single day. It was attempted murder against the government. And it was attempted murder against executives and board members and company security. If anybody was blocking me from my money that my parents had gave to me or my trust funds or my revenues or residuals or in reference to product sales from any of the companies, it says on those treasury documents and corporate law facts that if anybody was stealing my money or blocking me from my money, they must get arrested. And that's what the laws of Elliot Ness say, too. I'm not going to play nobody's tricks. I'm not going to play nobody's games. I have a life to live. And these people holding me hostage, trying to drag me down all the time, injuring me, damaging my face and teeth, trying to make me look like a fucking retard, calling me somebody mentally handicapped, by fucking up my teeth and face and injuring my ankle. Those government people have to get prosecuted for their fucking...